Now, this is the first introduction video on the congestion management. Now, in this video, we'll see some of the basic reasons for congestion, when and which scenarios the congestion will occur, and what are the different queuing mechanisms we can use to overcome this congestion process. Now, we have different mechanisms. We'll, we'll be talking about that more in detail as we go ahead in the later on videos as well. But in this uh, video, we'll majorly try to understand the reasons for congestion and the basic queuing process. Now, the first thing we'll try to understand the reasons for congestion. Now, let's take an example. I have a router which is forwarding the traffic, receiving the traffic on multiple interfaces, and it is supposed to send outside on the router. Now, normally the congestion happens when you have two or more uh, interfaces from where you are receiving the traffic, and you are supposed to send on the one interface. Maybe you are receiving from, from two different branch offices or maybe from the LAN interface. Now, congestion generally occurs at any point of the network where there is a speed mismatches or aggregation. Like here you can see there is aggregation of these three links and all these three links are sending over one common link. Now, in this kind of scenarios, there is a possibility of congestion. Uh, and because the reason is here, all the three different links are, are sent over the same exit interface. Now, even, uh, even the other reason can be a mismatch of the speeds. Like here I got some diagrams where you have a switch which is sending, connecting in the LAN and it is supporting around 1 gig, 1000 Mbps. When you are sending the information coming from the LAN, at a, you are receiving at a speed of 1000 Mbps and the router is receiving a huge number of IP packets but it is simply processing on the outside of the interface, output of this interface at a speed of only 2 Mbps or you can take in your LAN where you have a switch, uh, where you, you have a switch connection and sending at a speed of 1000 Mbps, but the output on this interface is just 100 Mbps. Now in this kind of scenarios, you receive uh, too many excess of packets, but in the, in the device will find difficulty to put them, uh, send it forward to the next interface because uh, this interface supports just 100 Mbps. Now these are the common scenarios where you will see the congestion. Now to overcome this congestion generally, now if there is any extra congestion by default it's going to drop the packets. What we can do is we can ensure that these packets instead of getting dropped, they are managed and given some priority. And that can be done by using something called queuing mechanisms. Now queuing is a mechanism of arranging the packets into the local buffer. So before it actually sends on the output queue, it's going to store them in a buffer with the different priority levels. Like we can, we can place some packets which are very high priority in as a voice or video traffic, which is considered as a high priority traffic. And we can arrange the packets in a medium priority, normal and low priority traffics. And we can ensure that this high priority traffic's packets are sent first before it sends any other priority traffic. And then the next importance to be given to the medium priority traffic and then to the normal and then to the low. Now this will ensure that your important traffic like voice and the video packet should not get dropped in case if there is any congestion and that is what we call as queuing mechanisms now we are going to manage the way the packets has to go on the output queue before it actually sends on the output interface we are managing and giving some different levels of priority and reservations for each and every type of bandwidth and that is what we call as queuing here so we'll be talking about different queuing mechanisms we use in this section much more in detail. But before we go ahead with the different uh, queuing mechanisms, first we'll try to understand some of the basic queuing options. Now, as we discussed just now that queuing is a mechanism of arranging the packets into the local buffer before it sends on the output interface instead of getting dropped. Okay, in case if there is any congestion. Now, always remember one thing, we have two types of queues here, input queue and output queue. Input queue means it's arranging all the receiving packets in the local input buffer before it sends to the router processing. And the output queue is something like it is going to store in a buffer, output buffer, before it sends on the output interface. So that's a major difference between input queue and output queue. Now this uh, input and output queue is something only happens if there is any congestion. Like normally, uh, let's take an example. Once the packet is received on the interface, so if the processor is not too busy and the packet's rate is not too high, then the system will never use the input queue. 
uh, which means if in simple words if there is no congestion it's not going to use the input queue it will simply ask the router to process the packets and send it back on the interface without any queuing mechanisms but the queuing mechanism is only required if there is a congestion if the router is busy processing some of the packets and you are receiving some extra packets here and right now the the router is busy in processing other packets so what we are going to do we are going to store them in the input queue that is your buffer before it actually sends to the router for processing and that is what we call as input queue now this a queuing mechanism only will start doing its job when there is a congestion if there is no congestion it is not going to uh, use the use the queuing mechanisms here now the same thing happens with the output queue also so output queue also if if any packets are received on the output interface and the output queue here this is not too much busy it's not really congested the interface will simply forward the packets immediately without queuing there's no need for queuing but it requires a queuing only if there is a congestion on the output queue and before it actually sends on the output interface it's it's going to store in the local buffer memory now in the input queue it's always first in first out you will have only one queue by default and you cannot manage this you cannot change anything you, and it always first in first out so input output in, input queue will always be first in first out all the packets which are received in order will be processed first but the output queue is something we can manage now inside this output queue we have two different types of queues we have something called software queue and hardware queue now here software queue and the hardware queue the basic difference is now the software queue is a something we can manage management is nothing but we can arrange the packets in different classifications and we can give priority before it actually puts on the hardware queue and send out of the interface L let's see how it is going to work exactly so let's say if a router receives any packet before it places in the hardware queue it will first see whether the hardware queue is full or not if the hardware queue is already full before it actually places on the interface okay if it is not full it will simply process the packets and send it on the interface and it will simply forward out of the output interface so which means a simple scenario where there is no congestion but if there is a congestion then probably the hardware queue will be full once it realizes the hardware queue will be full it is going to send the packets on the software queue now in the software queue is something where we can manage we can arrange the packets like we can we can arrange voice as a different class and your http traffic referred as a different class and we can define that voice packet should be arranged first before it sends the http packet packets and then we are placing it on the hardware queue again back before it sends on the interface and there will will say that the voice traffic should be sent first given priority over http traffic or we can tell that the voice traffic should guaranteed a minimum bandwidth of 64 kbps and whatever the other bandwidth should be used for http so something like that now that is what we are going to do here now those are all different queuing mechanisms which we are going to use to manage before your packets are sent outside on the interface now by default it it's something like this you know the 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 hardware queue is always first in first out we cannot do anything on the hardware queue but the software queuing is something can be selected can be configured depending upon the platforms and the cisco ios versions now in simple way software queuing mechanism is something where we can arrange the different different types of traffic in different queues and we can send them in order wise and we can give priority for one specific traffic now by default if you want to verify this input and output queues we can always use a command called show interface f0 by 0 now i'll see the maximum input queue packets it it is going to allow and the output queue packets is going to allow now if you want to change this parameters we can even change this parameters it's all depends upon the different platforms again now that again varies based on the and once you change this parameters you can see it changes here now you can always verify this input queue output queue parameters by using show interface commands but most of the time we don't really prefer to change these parameters and once it reaches this limit it will start queuing mechanisms